And the, uh, the next track we have here is Shane Dillon with Storm featuring C4 and the Letty Masila. Wait, wait. Look, life is a goose to see, the fake is the truest thing. Materialism screams, but little by little dream. Shot at with triple beams, fear is the newest bag. You get into attack, you're about to go catch your bag. I believe that's how you pronounce it. If not, uh, Naledi, I sincerely apologize. Um, and there's a few other artists that are uh, get some credits on here too. I just want to point out super quickly. There's a brass section that is led by Tim Hall, Miles Kainstein, and Matt Estabrook, and then J.P. Heston also adds some bass. And there's some percussion on this song as well, done by Ramarna Campbell. So if I mispronounce anybody's names, I sincerely apologize. But I wanted to point that out because. This song has a lot of live instrumentation, which I think is a really great staple with this song specifically. I love that aspect of it for sure. So Shane Dillon is more of a composer and a producer than he is. So he doesn't have any vocals on this song. He's specifically somebody that does um, the piano and the keys. Uh, and he obviously composed the, the, composed the track. So he's really a, a very talented guy in terms of uh, composition. Um, Similarly, I think he reminds me a little bit of, in a way, I think Johan has now kind of gotten that direction of like an actual vocalist and artist where uh, Shane is more just still in the composition aspect of things. But like, I, and I think that's going to be a cool thing too, because he's got an album dropping supposedly this summer, he was telling me. Uh, he's gonna, he's definitely going to be on here for a guest speaker episode sooner rather than later. But that's I, I kind of like that because then it's almost like, it's really cool because he's going to get a bunch of different vocalists and it's going to be a very cool like variety of different artists like on his album. So I'm definitely looking forward yeah, to that for sure. A real collaborative kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So I like it a lot. Um, C4 delivers the lead vocals. He's a Boston artist as well who did some work with Clark D. He had that single hard um, with him uh, tail end of last year that we were promoting on our pl uh, playlist for a little while. And... Overall, I just think C4 does a nice nice job of capturing the gruesome scene of sort of a person's life filled with like these vices of materialism and societal pressures. Um, he has some really good like vivid uh, imagery and portrayals of like this all-consuming gloom that's over him. And I'll also point out too, this, I, I also did an article for this song as well. It's on Mass Music Radio. But uh, one of the lines, uh, C4, specifically in his first verse that I really enjoy, like a couple of bars here. He says, shot at with triple beams, fear is the newest fad, you're getting too attached, about to go catch a bag, hard knock life kid, heard you was fat living fast, and then it starts to get bad with cousin and granny past, smaller is getting bigger, better is feeling whack, the devil is on your back with evil and pity laughs. I just, I love the, the way he delivered that. Damn. He, de he delivered that a lot better than me, first of all. But I just, like, I love how he's talking about how, like, the darkness can kind of over, like, consume you and, and, you know people just kind of like not being quite what you think they would be or also like, you know, getting too attached to like things that don't really matter and, and sort of like the phoniness that we have in like our society today. So I really enjoyed that aspect from C4. And I literally like the narrative that he, he kind of puts in here. And then I think Naledi, uh, she has some really nice lush vocals on the hook. I think that's where instrumentally it's really cool for me because I can hear like all of the all the instrumentation sort of come together. That brass section really comes into the forefront of the mix. And then Shane ends the song with a unbelievable keyboard solo that's really, really cool. And I think there's the, the my favorite part, even though Naledi and C4 do a really nice job on the vocals, I think it's kind of similar with the Clark D song where the aesthetic is is really the hero when it comes to this song. And I even love, too, how he kind of puts in sort of like rain and thunder samples as well, really makes it sound stormy. And uh, so I just really, really enjoyed the aesthetic of it. And, and also the um, I, I think I think C4 and Naledi also do a nice job of kind of delivering home sort of the, the theme, I guess, of like what this storm is, the storm of sort of phoniness and sort of like worrying about the wrong things and, and sort of this sort of materialism that's and I guess social media image that we portray on on each other that um, can really be negative a lot of the time. So um, not, a, not a lot negative I could say about this song. I guess the one thing I would say maybe is I feel like C4's vocals could have been a little bit more uh, pushed to the forefront actually of the mix. I feel like he's actually a little bit too behind on some of it. Um, so maybe I would have liked his vocals to be just a little bit louder. Um, 
but other than that, I mean, that's just a very nitpicky thing. It's not really anything that like takes away from the overall like my enjoyment of the song. So really liked this one a lot. Uh, huge shout out to everybody that was involved on this song, and I'm definitely looking forward to the album, no question. But uh, would you uh, would you think of Storm? I definitely liked uh, definitely liked Storm. So shout out Shane Dillon, shout out C4, and shout out Naledi. Um, I think uh, off rip, you know, you kind of you definitely went over a lot of things that I want to say. Uh, it had a really dope beat. I definitely love the production and the beat. The, the the beat is really tough. It's super unique. You know, I can, it kind of, you know, I didn't really have context as to what Shane Dillon does or was going to do on this track. Um, but, you know, kind of like based off of the context you've given me, it makes sense that uh, it kind of felt like it was a jam session. You know, it felt like a group kind of endeavor, a group project. Um, I loved the rain sounds throughout. The rain sounds dope throughout the whole track and definitely, you know, adds to the storm imagery. Um, I liked C4's rapping. I thought his rapping was solid. I thought C4 was definitely solid on um throughout the track i thought there could be a little bit more character i wanted a little bit more to take away from uh his first verse uh on the track i think he kind of snaps on that second verse he definitely comes in terms up in terms of big energy energy, lyrics delivery did you watch the video for this yeah it's really cool the music video is sick. There are some sick. shots of Shane and 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 uh, C four where they're like under an umbrella that look amazing. Really um, cool. uh, we'll like link. Said, we'll link it in like the description. Saying, definitely got to link that. But like I was saying, the uh, second verse is when for me C four really turns up. The bars that I got right here because he was packing a lot of bars in too because he was rapping fast. He was rapping quick. He did rap. Yeah, I he, thought yeah. I would have wanted that kind of energy and emotion in his voice throughout all of it. Where I feel like he didn't have as much of a presence on it in his first verse. Um, but that second verse, and I'm pretty sure these are lyrics in his second verse, but being social ain't the norm. People pay me to perform. I know my heart can be warm, but I just cannot can conform. And the reason why I'm born is to leave a lovely legacy that some people choose to hate, but people can adore. You know what I mean? I think that was tough. And I think kind of, uh, for me, it, it resonated um, as an artist because at some point sometimes it's like you don't even want to be social but people also want you to perform so you have to be somebody who can be social to a degree you know what I mean um, and I, I love the you know the reason why I'm born is to leave a lovely legacy that some people choose to hate but other people can adore it and that was kind of like I think especially matching the storm ideas like, you know, even through the stormy weather, you're kind of like, I got to push through somehow. But sometimes it can it can look really dark, whether it's people not rocking with you as a person, they're not rocking with you as a musician. Mm. Um, But I love that C4 throughout this thing is like, yo, there's a storm, but we're going to push through it. You know, there's a storm, but I'm going to persevere. And people might choose to hate me, but some people might choose to love me. So that's, and I think those are kind of, you know, for a little pun, that might be the silver lining in the storm. You know, mm-hmm. that might be the silver lining in the clouds right there. Um, I thought overall it was a cool, unique kind of collaborative thing that I that I felt like I heard different sounds come together. Naledi's vocals definitely were beautiful. Those sounded really Very good. Beautiful. Um, almost would have wanted to hear them a little bit more or maybe give her a couple runs throughout the track or, or backing vocals. Uh, but when she did, when I did hear it, I thought it was really dope. I already kind of complimented the music video. Uh, I did have some points in, during the music video where it felt a little student filmy. You know what I mean? It felt, uh, you, you can kind of see that it, in certain times during the narrative looking shots that, you know, these people are musicians, not necessarily actors, or even some of the actors in the student film, you know, they might not have the most experience. Uh, and that That is by no means trying to take away from it, just something I noticed. Um, and I think even as a little bit of character, because you can tell this is these are real people doing this, and this is uh, Shane, who I'm guessing is the mastermind behind mm-hmm. all of it, mm-hmm. uh, was really 
seems very, very artistic and very, very willing to bring his friends in on it, which I think is amazing. Um, but some of the some of the narrative shots, I was like, oh, okay. But I still <laughs> love the ambition to put out a video that has narrative behind it. Mm. Um, you know what I mean? And, and the ambition to put out a video from beginning to end that, uh, again, has a narrative you can follow, but it starts in one place, ends in a different place. Um, that, I think, is also a quality that's going to – you know, do him a lot of good. You know what I mean? Having this much of a of a vision, so that's really dope. Overall, the uh, the whole thing is smooth. The video, the track, uh, C four Shane, the instrumentation Shane does his thing definitely on on, on uh, the keys and mm-hmm. just throughout this whole thing, it it sounds very unique. And and having somebody rap like C four on this, I thought was an interesting choice. And like I said, I think towards the end of the song. Uh, C4 puts his foot in it, um, which is what I liked. Uh, so yeah, that's that's how that's how I was feeling it. Not not a whole lot to not a whole lot negative to say about this at all. No, no, I agree with you. I think there's definitely a uniqueness to it as well, especially with the amount of people that you get on this song collaboratively for it to come out the way that it did. Uh, certainly a yeah. testament to everybody's like ability to not only like collaborate but just as well like just the artistic nature of everybody on the track on the track and yeah Shane Shane is a really interesting interesting and uh great artist that I've I'm definitely in uh really looking forward to hearing what he does next next because I I certainly am looking forward to this uh to this album he has coming very soon so be on the lookout for that the music video of course I mean put it this way just head to the after this episode head to the description if you there's something here that piques your interest uh, there's going to be articles and, you know, places to stream the songs. Or if there's a music video, we'll, we'll definitely link those, too. So make sure you uh, support these guys. And, of course, their Instagrams, too. These guys and gals definitely uh, follow them and things of that nature. 